<laughs> Welcome to Julianne and Kyla, traveling teachers. I'm Julianne. And I'm Kyla. And today you are going to come with us to get our faces fixed. Yes, you'll be learning about what we got done, how much it costs, and how bad it hurt. So like, comment, and subscribe below. Thank you. And <laughs> here at the bus station we're about to go to Gangnam station and we have our is it technically even plastic surgery I don't think it is but it's not surgery Botox <laughs> Botox I'm getting Botox in my jaw my forehead and we're also doing like a lifting procedure we I want, want that nice yeah. I want to get my stress removed mm -hmm. here maybe under eye Silver and then the laser. Yeah, I'm excited. We'll keep you posted. See you soon. <laughs> bye bye. We're, Say bye bye. Right, we're outside the building right now. We're low key nervous. I kind of feel like I'm gonna bomb. Um, I feel like I didn't think about the pain too much until recently, like an hour ago. And I don't like needles. Um, I'm like cool with the needle part. I think I'm worried about the laser part. Um, and I'm not. I'm worried about the needles, not the laser. Yeah, I mean, we'll let you guys know. I feel like, I'm gonna guess like a five out of ten. What would you guess? Uh, six? Seven. Yeah, we'll see, we'll keep, we'll no, keep you updated. Yeah, I'm... We'll see. see you okay, soon. wish us luck. Kyla. <laughs> okay guys, we're just sitting in the lobby right now. see the doctor together. together so you can do it separately but since they only have one translator here obviously we have like the same concerns too so it's way easier just to so, get it all done with it and it's we good. to go together anyways yeah because it's like low-key stressful but it's 157 right now the doctors come back from lunch at two so in about three minutes the doctor will be back and then any second we'll go back I feel like I'm, like my nervousness is like fake nerves right now. Like I feel like I'm almost pushing more nerves onto myself to make myself more nervous. Does that make sense? Do you ever do that? I do that yeah. all the time. I'm like, duh, duh, duh. It's the quietness in here that's making me more nervous. Yeah. Yeah. In the beginning of the video, we said that we were going to get Botox in our forehead, our jaw, we're going to do a lifting procedure, all this stuff, and we are really excited for that. But when we actually met with the doctor for the consultation, he was like, no, that's really not necessary. He was super conservative, which we actually really appreciate. Mm. I think that's really important mm. when you are coming to South Korea or literally anywhere to get plastic surgery. You don't want someone who's constantly just going to give you whatever you want mm. and not what you need. Yeah, there's so many different places you can get plastic mm -hmm. surgery or Botox so usually people would just try pushing anything on you because mm -hmm. there's so much competition but he was super conservative and wasn't like that at all yeah so we were really grateful for that and he was like lifting procedure you don't need let's just do the forehead and let's just do your jaw so that's what I ended up doing yeah I did the forehead to Botox and I got filler under my eye no mm -hmm. lifting so what you all been waiting for the pain um I wouldn't say the Botox, yeah. they numbed us for a long time. Like yeah. we were, especially me because Julianne mm -hmm. went first and they numbed us at the same time, but she went first and I had to wait for her to be done. Yeah. They numbed us for a good, you probably 40 minutes, me an hour, mm -hmm. an hour and 10. Yeah. 
but um the for me the we'll go with the forehead first mm -hmm. honestly there was parts where i didn't feel it like genuinely didn't feel the pinch or mm -hmm. anything parts that i did it was so tolerable like i was yeah. even surprised um what about you yeah they i guess typically wouldn't numb me but since she was getting numbing especially for her under eyes she really needed it um so they were like oh you can get it so i was like perfect um but I guess they would do sometimes your I think your forehead without it and your jaw without it. Um, so I didn't think it was that bad. The jaw happened so fast and the forehead I think definitely took a little bit longer. And I think mm -hmm. it was like only I only felt it when it was like more closer to my hairline. Mm -hmm. But even then it just felt like a little pinch. I don't, tiny pinch. Yeah, like it's nothing. Tiny pinch. It was nothing compared to like what I thought. Like I don't know why I thought it was gonna be so painful. Yeah. But also my idea of Botox was thinking that it was going to be like one injection and they were just going to put <laughs> oh, all this Botox and it was just randomly going to like go to the right area. just knew. <laughs> and I was like, wait, that's a lot of like to put into one area. And then he's like, no, you're going to have like 30 different injection things in your head. Mm. I was like, oh, oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was there one was a thing. Lot. It was definitely a lot of different. Yeah. In the video, I'm sure you guys can see a, like there was a bunch. Dots. Yeah. And we, it, it's interesting though because we both kind of healed differently Mine too. Mine was way worse. Like Julianne, when I came out of the room, because obviously mm. she went first. Her, she like I could tell she had like little marks, but it was nothing. My my forehead was literally like blood marks everywhere. Yeah. Like, and it it mine didn't go away till the next day. Yeah. When yours was literally almost done. So I think it just depends yeah. on your body and how your body reacts to needles, Botox, whatever. Yeah. I ended up being fine, but. Yeah, I also think too. Um, I got an ice pack, and they told me to only put yeah, it on I for didn't five have that. minutes. She, and you didn't yeah, get the she ice got an ice pack. pack. I didn't, so that's probably a partial yeah. part of it too. So it definitely helped with the redness, but yeah, pain. I definitely wouldn't be mm -hmm. worried about it. I think that it was literally nothing. And I'm sure you can ask for numbing cream, even if they don't offer it. Maybe I you feel have like to pay more, but it's yeah, worth it, I it, think. I don't think it would be that much anyways. So for the under eye filler, it was a little different. I didn't really know this, but instead of just doing like a bunch of different injections like they do for your forehead um they do like one big incision and then i don't know i think they like shove the needle through that one incision and like go <laughs> my face goes. i'm like yeah no it's yeah. actually disturbing um they like shove it, the needle into that because like there's points i couldn't close my eyes so there were points where i could see my <laughs> this is really disturbing i'm like see my skin go up Mm. because like the needle was up and like I, obviously you can see it yeah um but honestly there were parts where it really hurt but like still tolerable and then other parts where i was like oh that's not bad it's just yeah. the initial incision hurts and then like little other more uncomfortable spots but mm. overall tolerable that did take a little longer i think that took like a half hour no yeah. maybe 20 minutes yeah heart yeah but, i really um, wish we could have like filmed this stuff for you guys but mm -hmm. i just felt really uncomfortable for and we my were first in the, time we weren't together for that part yeah so we were together for the consultation everything which i kind of want to record but also this was our first time i think when we go back in six months yeah, and like we'll get do things done we can ask and we'll be a lot more comfortable but this time i want to focus mostly on us actually getting stuff and understanding what's happening than like me Worrying fumbling with my camera and stuff like that so mm -hmm. Maybe next time we'll be able to like record it and stuff for you guys. Mm -hmm. But now let's get into the pricing. For pricing, altogether, mine was eight hundred. Um, the under eye filler was actually quite expensive. It was four hundred. I thought it was like sixty thousand. Uh, six hundred thousand more. Six hundred thousand. Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay, redo. You were right. Okay, so the under eye filler was definitely the most expensive part. It mm -hmm. was six hundred thousand won, which I feel like even for Korea, that's really quite expensive mm. but this filler that they use under my eye was from sweden so mm. it's supposed to be more like light and more effective mm. um looks more natural yeah said. it looks more natural and overall just is supposed to be better um and then my forehead was too too hard <laughs> Yeah, we're saying about this. it. I had to think about it. Ugh. Yeah, good. I'm sorry. We're saying this in one. I will put like the U.S. conversion down here. But yeah, I got two hundred thousand won, mm -hmm. and then each side of my jaw was two hundred thousand. Um, so it was a total of six hundred thousand, which I think ended up after being with like foreign charges on my card and stuff. I put on my U.S. card. It was like five hundred, mm -hmm. like thirty-four U.S. dollars. I'll actually do a real price check. So the reason why. We wanted to do the Botox in the forehead is mm. because we both had like a line here. Mm. 
and just like to overall prevent more wrinkles from forming mm -hmm. and i think especially since we work with kids like i think we're constantly raising our eyebrows constantly yes. moving our face like so many facial expressions that mm -hmm. i personally noticed that like my lines were getting worse here yeah um so we wanted that to be either like gone or prevent more from forming yes and when the un under eye especially on this eye i had like a line like an eye from my eye socket a line and mm -hmm. it's like definitely better now so that's why i wanted to get that mm -hmm. yeah i think it looks like and mm -hmm. i don't even notice the line anymore it's like yeah. just a little but not it's yeah really how, it looks a lot how better yeah yeah I got mine in my forehead again just to prevent it. I had like two lines that you can kind of see in the video when we're like You can outside. see our lines. It's funny. You can yeah. see them in the beginning. You can see them. And then um, like now it's crazy because like mm -hmm. my forehead doesn't. I'm like lifting my eyebrows but my forehead doesn't wrinkle. And I'm like, wow. Um, so I'm really excited about that. But then I also have really bad TMJ. And a lot of my headaches will stem from like tension that I hold in my jaw. So, what is this muscle called? I always oh, forget. Oh, your it begins with an M. M, 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 muscle. <laughs> um, I will put it here. Mm -hmm. So, um, that muscle, and they injected it there, and it was like six or seven injections, but it's also supposed to help you, like, look like you have a more, like, feminine jawline, mm -hmm. too. So, I'm kind of excited about that. Um, this is our third week with our Botox, like, officially, because, yeah, it's Saturday, so mm -hmm. it's the third week. Um the best results like start heightening at like the one month mark mm -hmm. and then in five months we'll go and get it redone because every six months mm -hmm. um they tell you to like go back in and get it because eventually it'll kind of fade and you kind of want to get it redone while you to already make, like, have maintenance. some there yeah. yeah so i'm definitely going to keep with the forehead i think i'm going to do the jaw because knock on wood it's been doing really well with like my headaches i feel like i don't hold a lot of tension there anymore so anybody with tmj i know it's kind of scary getting it in your jaw because i know there's like a lot of different things that can affect but 100 percent recommend for my under eye filler i feel like it maybe wasn't worth it i feel like the line is still a bit there like after right away when i was done like it was completely gone and i feel like it's back a little again mm -hmm. and i feel i just feel like it wasn't a dramatic difference no so mm. i just don't know if it was worth it kind of thing mm. but maybe in a few months when like the filler is completely gone or close to being gone maybe i'll feel different but as of now i don't think it's like worth it to get again mm. i definitely think um i'm like glad that we did it like, yeah we oh, tried yeah. what we did because i think that curiosity and yeah everything. and this way we know and then also it's helpful for people who are coming here we can be your little guinea pig <laughs> yeah you're welcome and we'll let you we guys know for you. yeah we'll let you guys know like what we thought was actually worth it and mm -hmm. again i think my biggest advice with um going to a doctor here and especially in Ghana when there's literally plastic surgery everywhere you can get in plastic surgery some places for like 30 bucks yeah it's not cheap. plastic surgery i'm sorry like botox and fillers for like 30 bucks which is kind of scary to me but um yeah i think it's really worth it going to a conservative doctor and go to someone who speaks english if you mm -hmm. don't feel comfortable it is your face yeah it's something you're gonna um, look at every day so yeah and it's not permanent but it also is going to be in your skin for a few months so definitely make sure you're going to somewhere where you feel comfortable trust your gut i agree Thank you so much for watching our video. I hope this was really helpful for anybody coming here to get Botox or fillers. When we go back in a few months, keep this up and maybe do some other things. We will keep you updated. We're going to try posting more on YouTube. I promise I'm really going to put forth effort in posting at least mm. once a week, maybe every other week. Yes. But, but for now, follow us on TikTok, Kyla and Julianne. We post almost weekly, if not more. Mm. So create yeah. content. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you get updates when we post our next video. Bye! Bye.